Hey guys, this is Milo, owner of Milo Optical Fitness, and we're gonna go over a few things with you guys. So this video is specifically for the six week challenge, and what it's gonna go over is why do we want to have something really, really bad, and we know we want it, but we're not able to actually get to it. Uh, so what's holding us back? <clears throat> so I think all of us had like a breakthrough moment in our lives to where we tried something really hard and we tried and we tried and we tried and something, you know, we just kept pulling back, pulling back. Um, and then one time it just, boom, you had a breakthrough and you're able to get through it. So why did that happen? Same thing with everyone right now with fitness. Uh, so uh, some of us haven't worked out in a year, two years. Sometimes last time was high school uh, that we worked out. Um, and we know that we need to work out and we want to work out and want to feel better, look better, gain self-confidence, uh, you know, be there for the kids. So why are we not doing that? Why are we not acting it? And the main reason is because we need a breakthrough. So a breakthrough, what that is, it's really just a moment in time. It's a moment in time to where you have the switch, where your brain just goes bam from one thing to another. <clears throat> um, and so we have to think of like, okay, what are three things to mentally get us there, right? So there's three things in order to have a breakthrough in life. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go from the least important to the most important. So the least important is strategy, right? So the first step is strategy. Even though it's the least important, it is still extremely important. So a lot of us have this goal. So where are we at now? So we're, you know, let's say 100 pounds overweight, uh, and we want to be able to get to where we lose those 100 pounds, how do I get from here to here? And so our six week challenge is that bridge that gets you from one goal to the other. So the reason why you signed up is because you're looking for a strategy. You don't really know how to get there, right? Whether it be mentally or physically, um, whatever the case may be, you're looking for a strategy. And it's crazy because if you go, there's fitness everywhere. I mean, you can't go within one mile uh, without there being two or three gyms. There's tons of YouTube videos that actually show you how to work out. There's tons of uh, online content uh, to where you can actually see everything, uh, all these workouts and, and all that great stuff. The only problem is that sometimes, you know, they contradict each other. One thing says this, this diet says that. Uh, so you wanna find that strategy to go from A to B. Uh, so that's kind of the reason why you signed up because you're like, hey, I don't know how to get here uh, and I really want to. So, you know, I'm searching for that strategy. And the problem is, is that even when you get that strategy, it's not really the only thing that, that kind of secures that breakthrough. Okay, so let's say you find a way. And we've had that before, right? So we join stuff like, I don't know, Kent Gladiator, or we join a gym, get a personal trainer, and then we get there, and then we try it for like two to three weeks. They have the strategy, they're giving us those skills and we're wondering why we don't continue on with that. <clears throat> so the one of the main reasons uh, for that is because of the second thing. So the second thing that you need is your story behind it. And I love giving this example about the story. So let's say, guys, right? Uh, let's say if you're um, in a car with a girl and a girl is like, hey, I need to, or she'll, she'll say like, hey, uh, Hey Milo, do you do you need to go to the restroom? You know, like while we're on the trip, uh, do you need to go go to the restroom? And what would be my first response? Or guys, what would be your first response? No, you know. But is that the right response, ladies? You guys can all answer this. That is not the right response, right? Um, so let's say if you say, oh well, honey, uh, do you want to go pee? You know, or do you need to use the restroom? And that's not the right response either, because guess and ladies can back this up. So the She'll be like, well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't really know if I need to go or not. And women tend to need to talk things through, right? They need to talk, they want you to convince them that they need to go. Uh, so what's actually the right response? And once again, ladies can answer this. It would be like, hey, you know what, honey? Uh, I don't really need to go. Maybe I do, I don't know, but let's pull off to the side right here and we'll, we'll go to the restroom, right? So they want the guy to take charge, make a decision uh, and be able to get there, right? Um, so, that's the correct story. And us, we get flustered. We're like, I don't understand. I said no. She asked me why she, you know, why she, you know, if I need to go to the restroom and why is she upset? Why did she come with all these questions? You know, why can't she just say like, hey, I want to go to the restroom? 
right? So then we make up all these stories in our head saying, I don't know, like, you know, is she mad at me? Is she just upset? Like, why is she giving me that weird look when I said no? Uh, you know, did her dog die? I don't know. So we cut, start coming up with these stories, these explanations as to why that situation happened. Uh, and then let's do the flip side. So the flip side, ladies, let's say if you go to a bar, right? Uh, and you see this guy, he's really attractive, uh, kind of looking at him from afar and you know, it seems like it's got a good vibe to him. So you go up to him and you're like, hey, uh, I think you're really cute and I think you're really nice. Would you like to go out with me on Thursday night? And the guy says, no. So ladies, what is your first reaction that you have when that guy says that, right? So when a guy says no, what are some of the things that you're thinking? Go ahead and start thinking about some of the first things. Uh, normally the ones that we hear is, uh, well, uh, you know, I, maybe he's not into me. Uh, maybe he has a wife or a girlfriend. Maybe, you know, he thinks I'm fat or maybe he thinks I'm not attractive or maybe, you know, he has someone that he's dating right now that's in the room with him. Uh, so you make up all these stories, right? And the only thing is the guy's like, no, I'm not, no. He said, no, he's not available on Thursday. He's actually available on Friday. That's what you should have been asked. So if he says no, you should be like, well, are you available on Friday? But you see how you made up all these stories surrounding that, that situation that wasn't even true, right? So what do we do to ourselves? We make up all these stories. We give us all these excuses and then we make those excuses valid. Right? You're the only person that makes the excuse valid because you come up with all the reasons for that. <clears throat> uh, and when you come up with an excuse, you validate it yourself. So our excuses could be, oh, well, I don't have time to go to the gym, therefore I can't never work out. You don't have time to go to the gym. Uh, I don't know, Tony Robbins, he owns, he, he's a multi-billionaire, uh, owns 11 companies, has a whole family, four kids, wife, uh, and that guy finds time to work out every day. Do you guys have all that? Nope. I have a client that has three kids. She actually has uh, twins, three kids, lives an hour away from the gym. She drives an hour, comes, works out for an hour, drives an hour back. And she's a full-time mom, full-time school, has full-time job. So if she could find time, and if you don't hit any of those, why can't you find time? It's because you, you're trying to make that excuse because you don't want to actually go out and work out and here's the reason why. All of our decisions are based upon two things. One is based upon um, staying away from pain, and the other one is based upon seeking pleasure. So you either avoid pain, seek pleasure. So we think we go to the gym, uh, and the reason why we make up the excuses is because we think if we go to the gym, people will make fun of us, or we don't really know what we're doing, so then they'll make fun of us if we do it wrong. Uh, or, you know, we, we think that we may see a bunch of fit people there and we're like, oh crap, I can't really go over there uh, because, you know, I'm not really fit so I don't belong so I need to leave, right? Even though the gym, and, and I've had people at this gym that will be like, hey, I, uh, I'd love to sign up for your gym but I need to go work out first before I join your gym. And I'm like, isn't that the purpose of the gym is for you to work out to become better and more fit? but you see how they gave themselves that excuse. And I've heard that a lot. I need to go work out first before I go to your gym. Uh, and I was like, that's what we do here. We take you from where you're at and then bring you to where you want to be at. We don't just go like, oh, go do 5,000 burpees. Uh, we don't do that. And no gym will do that. No gym will do that. They'll actually tell you like, hey, uh, here's what you need to do. Here's where you're at. And here, here's how we're gonna get you there. Um, so, and, and what, what's the other story that, that, that we have people do? So it's not just picking a story, it's gotta be picking the right story. Another thing people say like, oh, well I've tried everything, you know? I've tried everything, really you've tried everything? How many really? How, how many have you really tried? Oh, 1,000. Oh, really, is it really you tried 1,000 things? Oh, it's 100. You really tried 100 things? No, I've tried, a, well I've tried a couple of things. All right, and how long did you stick to, stick to those? Uh, I stuck to them for two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, so you didn't see results in two weeks and therefore you quit, right? Uh, so you're saying that you know you try college education for two weeks and you wonder why you didn't get your diploma? Like, no, you actually got yeah, four years to actually be able to see, see the results of the fruit of your labor, you know? So trying for two weeks is not gonna get you anything anywhere, uh, anything that you want. Um, so what you have to do is you have to divorce your story 
and marry the truth. And what I mean by divorcing your story, you don't don't divorce it to the point to where uh, you know you still you give it a try, um, or you're going to half-ass something uh, and then back out of it. Just to say you you, you try, right? So a lot of people do that. They go to a, they try a, a gym, say Orange Theory or something like that, and they're like, hey, I'm going to try this for for two weeks, uh, but I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm just going to do it 50%, so that way I can say I tried and it didn't work, right? Uh, so you gotta really be able to give it 100%. Uh, and you gotta make that story a story that you want, a story that uh, you want to achieve, right? So a lot of people are like, well, if I go to the gym and I try the six week challenge, and if I don't succeed, then people are gonna make fun of me, and, and you know, what if I, I break an ankle? Well, what if I do this, what if I do that? We even had a customer that actually said, uh, well, what if a mosquito bites me and I get the Zika virus? And it's just like, Really, uh, instead of focusing on that, what you need to focus on is what happens if I do the six week challenge and I do achieve my goal? How would I feel? How, you know, how great would it be to be able to get a new, buy a new set of clothes that actually fit better? How would it feel um, where people are complimenting you on like, hey, you've lost a lot of weight. Like, what are you doing? Like, how, how, that, that's amazing, you know? Uh, how would you feel if you know your spouse or your loved one looked at you better and smiled at you every single time because you are looking better? You know, no one ever looks at the positive things. We all look at the negative of things. So when we focus on the negative, guess what happens? You get negative stuff because your brain focuses on whatever your brain focuses on. Your brain is going to search for that. So if you search, if you focus on negative things, all these negative things are going to come up because your brain is searching for those negative things. Focus on the positive thing. Your brain's gonna search for all the positive things. I'll give you an example, quick example about this. So go ahead and look in your room. Look in your room and look for everything that's white in your room. So go ahead, look at, count. One, one, two, three, four, everything that's white, go, 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 do it. Just just do it, humor me for a second. Look, 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 white, 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 white. All right, now stop. All right, so got the count, how much white there is? Awesome, all right, so how much black is there in your room? Whoa, totally different, right? So the thing is, if you always focus on the white, you're not gonna see the black. What I mean by that is if you're always focusing on the negative, you won't see the positive. So you, whatever you focus on is what's gonna become reality. So you gotta be able to shift your focus and shift your gears on everything that can happen, and everything that will happen if you succeed, as opposed to everything that can get in your way, right? So a person, there's two types of people when they get faced with an obstacle. Like say if you gotta go from point A to point B, Put an obstacle in the middle of the road some people would be like wow there's a wall there uh you know what? i'm just going to turn back around and walk the other way because i can't get past that wall and then the successful people they'll actually look at that wall and be like okay how can i get around that wall can i go over it or can i go around it can i go under it how can i go because i really got to get to point b over there how am i going to get there right and that's where you see you know the different people you see the people you know like they see that they need to get to the gym they see that they need to actually be able to achieve their goals because if they don't, what happens? Hospital, you end up in the hospital for a week uh, and you gotta pay thousands of dollars to be able to do that. Two, your family has to actually take care of you. So you think like, oh, I'm, I'm okay with me going to the hospital, I'll suffer for myself. They don't realize that all the family members are going to take time off of their work to be able to see you in the hospital. All the family members, are gonna give up on whatever they have going on in their life, spending time with their family, achieving their goals, to be able to spend time with you because they love you, they, they believe in you, they want you, you know, they want you around. So don't just think of yourself in the fact, think about everyone else that you're affecting right now. So you, you want their lives to be better, therefore you, in order to do that, you gotta make yourself better, right? So like say people are like, well, you know, I, uh, I, I have kids and you know, uh, I don't really have time for that, you know? Well, the deal is, is that you gotta be a role model for your kids. Cause your kids will do what you do, they won't do what you say. And if you wanna help other people out, just like they tell in the airline, what do you gotta do? You gotta put on your mask on first before you could put on the other person's mask. Because if you die, you can't help out all the people around you. So, gotta be strong, gotta stay strong. The last thing is that you gotta change your state. So, have you ever been so upset in a day and you're like, man, you know what, like, God, everything sucks today, this is 
it's a horrible day, everything's happening to me, and no one loves me, no one does this, and then you're driving, and then someone cuts you off, and you're like, oh, screw you, you cut me off, and then you really want to go ram your car into them. You ever had one of those days? We all have had one of those days, right? And, but have you ever had one of those days to where everything's going right, going on that hot date, you know, with your spouse or, you know, a new person that, that you, you really liked for a long time, they finally said yes, person cuts you off, and you're like, ah, I don't really care, like, I'll let them, I'll actually let them in, I'll slow down and let them in, because, man, that person might be in a hurry, I don't know, I'm having a great day, who cares? So, what, same scenario, the only difference was there was that two different states, you had a positive state and you had a negative state, right? So, what your story is, what your strategy is, if you're gonna achieve that, depends on what state you are. So if you're in a positive state to be able to achieve all your goals, you will achieve them. If you're in a negative state, you will not achieve anything. And how do we put ourselves in negative states? We come up with excuses, right? Can't come up with excuses. You gotta come up with what will happen if I do all this. So those are a couple of reasons why. Um, that uh, or a couple of things to do a breakthrough. Uh, I'll be sending out a lot more videos. One of the other videos I'm going to be sending is how you got here in the first place. Um, and the way you fix that is with this breakthrough that I just gave you. So see you guys at your workout. All right, bye.